A new alarm came in the mail here today. It is a uncommon alarm. I have not seen a lot of YouTube videos about this alarm, so I thought today we would unbox it and I'd show you a little bit more of it. It is a part of the Faraday 9354 series. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. Here it is. The alarm is supposedly coming brand new in the box, which it looks like it is. There's a little white box here. And let's take a look, there should be a label, here it is. There's the label for the alarm. Let's take a closer look at it. It is a Faraday 9394B2124 electronic chime strobe. And I'm pretty sure this is a white model. So let's go ahead and open up this box and take a closer look at it. Oh, and here's how you know it's new in the box. You have to cut this in order to open up the box. There we go. Here it is. There it is. Let's pull it out for the very first time. Here's the alarm. Oh yeah, this thing looks awesome. A Faraday 9354 white chime strobe. This is not a ty typical loud and annoying fire alarm. This alarm makes a quieter chime noise and it's more ideal for places such as a hospital. Let's go ahead and see what else is in the box here. Looks like there's a couple mounting screws and then there's this plastic white cap here. Let's go ahead and take it out and take a closer look at it. So this white cap here is actually used as a little cover for the candela selector. So right here on the side of the alarm you can see there's a hole and what you can do is stick a screwdriver into that hole and select the candela of the strobe, otherwise known as the brightness of the strobe. And then after you've installed it, you can take this white plastic cover and pop it over the hole so it doesn't get tampered with. It looks like this alarm can do 15, 30, 75, or 110 candela. The user manual appears to be dated to March 19 of 2001. I haven't done a whole lot of research on when this alarm was made, but based on the user manual, I'd say that this alarm was probably made in the early 2000s. Let's take a closer look at the back of the alarm. Up here there is a frequency wheel, so you can move this wheel and it will actually change the frequency or the pitch that this alarm makes. So you can make it very low sounding or you can make it very high sounding. That's kind of nice, you can actually change the sound that this alarm makes. Over here there is another wheel and that is your volume wheel, so you can actually make this alarm very soft or you can make it very loud sounding. And then right here there is a resistor labeled R10 and this alarm comes preset on continuous chime however if you wanted to make this a single stroke chime you could break this resistor and it permanently becomes a single stroke chime. I'm probably never going to do that. <laughs> and then down here there is four wire operation so you can have two wires powering the signal and two wires powering the strobe. However, this alarm comes preset for two wire operation and if you wanted to take advantage of the four wire operation, there's two wires right here labeled J1 and J2. You would have to permanently break those and that would allow this alarm to do its four wire operation. All right, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to test this alarm. This will be the very first time this alarm has made noise since it was first manufactured. Here we go. There it is. That's kind of an interesting chime noise. <laughs> I don't. I was not expecting that. I was expecting more of a a ring at the end of the chime. It sounds like a very aggressive chime, I'd say. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to play around with the frequency settings of this alarm. However, I'm not planning on showing that until the next system test. So if you want to hear the other noises that this alarm can make, definitely stay tuned, subscribe, and check out one of the future system tests that will be coming out shortly. Thank you all for watching this unboxing. 
rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.